personal. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so I'm just getting my day started here in upstate New York for the Odo Beck Komatov Raymond Ford fight. And I thought my last video would be my last video on the subject, my, my final breakdown video. Go check it out if you guys haven't already. But this will be my last video about Komatov and Ford, you know. And Odebeck Komotov was speaking to BoxingScene.com, and he had a lot to say about, you know, just um, the fight with Raymond Ford and just what he thinks is going to happen. So here's what Odebeck Komotov said about the fight. He stated the following, and I quote, This fight is just the beginning of my journey in towards the pinnacle of the sport, glory and universal recognition. My whole country is at home waiting victory because boxing is the most popular sport in Uzbekistan. He then went on by saying about Raymond Ford, and I quote, I don't think Raymond Ford is very good. I really don't expect much from Ford at all. He doesn't have any power. I don't think he'll last more than five rounds of me. You will see, just like in all my previous fights, you will see another beautiful knockout. Ford is nothing special. Now, Komatov just didn't stop at Ford. He, he, even, he even took shots at the former WBA champion that he was once the mandatory challenger to fight, Lee Wood, stating, and I quote, Lee Wood has never been a real champion. He was afraid to fight me. Otherwise, he would have faced his challenges. My name, not his, will remain in the history of world boxing, end quote. So, Oda Beck said a mouthful. He feels like tonight is going to be the night that he's waited for so long in his career to become champion. And we'll see how it plays out. Now, he's downplaying for his abilities. And, um, I mean, I, I think Oda Beck is better than Ford, but... but I don't. I ne I never think it's it's healthy to completely dismiss a fighter. You know, I th I do think you have to have a healthier amount of respect, and he doesn't have no respect for Raymond Ford at all. And look, the way he's talking, I'm, I'm telling y'all straight away right now, the way he's talking, he he said, I don't think the fight will last more than five rounds. I mean, now look, I've watched Odebeck Komatov spar a lot, like anywhere from forty to seventy rounds, 40, 50, 70 rounds, something something like that. Was, I, I've seen him spar a lot, countless times, more than I can count. It normally takes Odebeck Komatov about three and a half to four rounds to really get warmed up you know first two rounds he just boxes but by that third fourth round he's he's normally turning that switch all the way on and beating the brakes off opponents so he's got gears he, i'm telling y'all right now he's got gears he can get to in that ring as far as the stamina and the intensity in which he fights and my thing is raymond ford is gonna have a very short window of time in this fight and, I, and i'm not saying this to like quote unquote you know, uh, cheerlead or or dick ride for Odebeck. I'm telling y'all the God's honest truth about what I've seen in the gym. He's going to have about two and a half to three rounds to get Odebeck Komotov's respect in that ring as far as punching power, physical strength, and things like that. If he does not do that, if Ford fails to do that on all counts, he's, he, you know, it's, it's, it's very likely he might get stopped in this fight. Now, that's not, now, I don't think, that's not my prediction. My prediction is that I think he will get hit with something big in the first three to four rounds, five, four, four or five rounds, and go into survival mode. And I think Ford is smart, athletic, and crafty enough to survive the full 12 rounds, but lose a workmanlike decision to Komatov. I think that's what's going to happen. But I'm telling you right now, if there's nothing there for Komatov to worry about, like I've seen him in sparring countless times, this might look like an Odebeck Komatov sparring session back home in South Florida. So just wanted to highlight his comments and just give you guys the honest truth about what I think needs to happen in this fight. Obviously, there's going to be an adjustment from the Komatov side of things. Raymond Ford has got a lot of speed. He's fast. But um, he's telling you in plain... He's literally telling you in plain English that he's going to knock out Raymond Ford five rounds or less. That, that, that's what he's telling you. So we'll see how that goes. Um, as far as Lee Wood, Odebeck said... You know, what, what he said about Lee Wood. I think Odebeck has a right to feel the way he did does about Lee Wood because the minute... He beat Thomas Ward and he became the mandatory. Lee Wood started talking about, you know, Josh Warrington and moving up and Wade and all the, you know, fighting Joe Cordina. I I I do think Lee Wood was afraid afraid to fight over at Beck Komotov. Honestly, I I, do, I don't. I, yeah, the money. Yeah, you could use the money and and business and all that, but I don't think Lee Wood really and truthfully, deep down in his heart, looked at Odebeck Komotov on film and said, you know what, I can beat that guy. I don't I don't I don't think he wanted any part of that, especially after. Having a, a hellacious knockout loss to Venata, uh, to a Mauricio Lara, and 
yeah, I just, I just, I don't think he want any piece of him. So, you know, he'll have, he'll, he'll have to live with that for the rest of his career. That's his cross to bear, not mine or Odell Beck's or anybody's. It's his. And the crazy thing is, Lee Wood might not even be fully out the shed, out of um, the picture with that because Odell Beck Comitol is huge. He's big for 126. So who knows how long he can make it 126. Crazier things have happened. Maybe he goes to 130 and he becomes, he, he becomes a guy that's in position to fight Lee Wood again. And then what? You know, are you going to go ahead and fight him again? We'll, we'll see what happens. But, um, Tonight, guys, is a big night in the day of the featherweight division. Um, I've said too many times, 2024 is the year of the featherweight division. You know, uh, uh, whether Ford wins or Odebeck Komatov wins, mark, 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 mark my words, tonight, a star will be born in the featherweight division, and um, there will be a new champion crowned. And um, it's really interesting because just from the Ford side of things, like I said many times, he's got to go behind enemy lines with everything against him, honestly. He really does. I, I, I will say that. He does have more odds stacked against him in this fight than, than a lot of fighters fighting for the first world title. That, that's what make the win that much better for Ford if he could actually get it. But um, Komotov's making his, uh, his thoughts very known, very clear that, look, um, he doesn't think Raymond Ford is very good. He thinks he's pretty, he, he pretty much said he was trash and he thinks that he will knock him out in five rounds. So we'll see. Uh, we'll definitely see how it goes. The best part about all this is that the ring... And what happens in it will tell the truth and tell the story about what's really what. And Lee Wood, he didn't want to fight with the back. That, that, that much is certain. So, uh, yeah. I'll be at the fights roughly uh, here very soon. If, any, if any of you guys are going to be at the fights, let me know. Get on touch with me on, on Instagram at just a kid from Dania. You can find that on my about section on the channel. And I'm very easy to get a hold of. Or Twitter at True School Sports. And I like, I like to meet some of you guys, man. I like, I like meeting the viewers of True School Sports. It's always uh, very fun when I get to meet people that watch the channel, that support we'll, we'll, the, the boxing content on here. So uh, you guys take care. Enjoy the fights tonight. Pops will be on the live, so make sure you tune in to Pops' live and, 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 and interact with him. And, and yeah, stay tuned for more great content here on True School Sports. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure to subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.